Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, children. Ma'am, I'm not feeling good, so I can't turn on my video. Yes, blur the background. That's better. All of you, please blur your background. If there's going to be no movement, fine. Otherwise, please blur your background. Jayant, Krishmi, turn on your cameras. Danya. All right, let's first discuss the answers uh, to the uh, homework which I've given. I don't want any interruptions. I'll give the answer. Please check your steps. If there's any deviations, you can get your doubts clarified. How many of you have completed the homework? Netra. Udanshri. Sindhu and Sanjay, Dhani has completed. All right, let's see the answers first. So please let me know which one. A, B, A was done in the class. Yes, ma'am, A and B have yes, done. Yes, ma'am. was done in the class. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to solve C now. I'm going to solve C now. 23.14 is equal to 2314 divided by 100 or 1000? 100. 100. Because 1, 2. We need to move the decimal point by two places. So by 100. This is this we've been doing since I think fifth or sixth standard. So this is not new to you. This is not new to you. So 23.14 is equal to 2314, 2314 divided by 100. What's the simplest form? So when you divide by 2, we get 1157 divided by 50, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, and I think yes, this is the simplest form. And I think this is the simplest form. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So this is the P by Q form. Correct. So this is the P by Q form for 23.14. Now let's check for 23.14 recurring. 23.14 is the terminating decimal. 23.14 bar on it. 14 bar is a non-terminating repeating decimal. Is a non-terminating repeating decimal. If you have not done the homework, you need to take it down along with me. <clears throat> I'll be clearing the slide once I finish explaining. So either be quick to take a screenshot because it's homework. Or fill it in your book quickly. Now 23.14 recurring. All right. So this is nothing but 23.141414 going on forever. So let, let me say why. You can say X, you can say Y. So let Y be equal to 23.141414 going on forever. Two digits, two digits are repeating. In the repeating block, we have two digits. So we need to find 100 Y. So we need to find 100 Y because two digits are repeating, one four repeating. So we need to find 100 Y. So 100 Y meaning this decimal point will shift when you multiply Y by 100. When you multiply y by 100, the decimal point will shift by two places like this, like this 1, 2. So 100 y is equal to 2314.141414 going on forever. 
you can write how many ever one fours you want. When you multiply y by 100, the decimal point, this is y. So when you multiply this by 100, 1, 2, the decimal point shifts here. And it becomes 2, 3, 1, 4, point, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, going on forever. So now we have the equations. We have equations 1 and 2. The next step is equation 2 minus equation 1. So that is 100y is equal to 2, 3, 1, 4, point, 1, 4, 1, 4, 1, 4, going on forever minus y, which is equal to 23.1. One four, one four, one four, going on forever. Please don't get confused. You can add how many ever one fours you want because it's going on forever. Now the doubt may be when you shift this decimal point here, there's only two pairs. One four, one four. How you've written three? There are many, many one fours. So now we need to subtract these two equations. We need to subtract these two equations. Hundred y minus y is ninety nine y is equal to here after the decimal uh, write the numbers carefully the decimal points must fall one below the other the decimal points must fall one below the other now after the decimal point we have the same thing in both the cases so they get cancelled like 0 1 minus 1 0 4 minus 4 0 1 minus 1 0 so you can just you can just you know uh, eliminate uh, the portions after the decimal point now here when you subtract 4 minus 3 is 1 and this is 11, 11 minus 2 is 9 and this is 2 and this is 2. Is my subtraction correct children? Yes ma'am. Yes, yes miss. Okay, so 99y. Yes, yeah, I'm continuing here children. 99y is equal to 2291. Y is equal to 2291 divided by 99. And then I think this is the yeah, this is the simplest form also. Yes, please tell me if I'm right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. I'm yes. right. Okay. Yes. Any? Yes, yes ma'am. If you have any doubts, you can get it clarified now. All of us see we have learned only this procedure, so all of you should have done it like this. Yes, ma'am. Completed. Good. Yes, ma Good children. Children who have not finished the homework, take a screenshot and complete it. I cannot wait for you to finish it now during the session because it's not classwork. I'm clearing the slide. Yes, I'm clearing the slide. Next one. D. 1.239 is 1.239 divided by 1000. And this is the simplest form. All right. All of you have this. Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes
but on the calculator when you do it you will not get 1.23999 we'll understand this as we move ahead when you do this on the calculator you will not get uh, 1.239999 it will be rounded see when you round off when you round off 1.239 going on forever going on forever do you remember so just take away these lines and increase this by one so it becomes 1.24 we all know that so on the calculator you will get when you divide 31 by 25 you will not get 1.239999 you will not get that you will get 1.24 now class you must tell me if you all got 31 by 25 let's come from there all if you got 31 by 25 Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Due to traffic, so I couldn't join the meeting on time. All right. Yeah, we're just discussing the answers of the homework. Yes, ma'am. So can you please send the meeting recording? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any request, uh, kindly children, uh, text me on WhatsApp because uh, uh, you know highly likely that I'll forget. I'll not, I'll say okay during the session, and then you know I might not, I might forget. So whatever request you have, apart from uh, uh, clarifying your doubts in the class, in the class in the meeting, we're only going to uh, you know discuss problems and get our doubts clarified. Anything away from this, please text me on WhatsApp. This is not only for Madhamita. I'm telling the class. Anything away from that, kindly text me on WhatsApp so that I attend to that. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, children, so. Yes, we, we've done with D, right? We're done with D. Yeah. Okay. Now moving on to E. So E and F. I'll share the uh, steps on WhatsApp, children. E and F. The steps. Of okay. On WhatsApp. Now tell me the answer. For E, four point nine is equal to what? Tell me the final answer. Forty nine by ten. Forty nine by ten. Forty nine by ten. And what is four point nine recurring? Correct. What's the P by Q form? 45 by 99. Somebody said the answer. Please, sir. 45 by 99. 45 by 99. 45 by 99. 45 by 99. So you can see these cases. The answer is 5 by 1. 49. 45 by 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. 9. Answer is 9. 5 by 9. 9. It's nothing but 5 or 5 by 1. Yes, ma'am. Whenever, whenever it is recurring, you know, whenever it's recurring, 9 recurring, 9 recurring, the answer will be to the nearest decimal. So, 9 recurring. So, what is 4.9 going on forever? It's close to 5. So, the B by Q form is 5 by 1. Yes, ma'am. 4.9 recurring meaning 9 going on forever. So take away the 9s and increase this one by 1. So it becomes 5. 5 or 5 by 1 is the P by Q form. Mm. 45 by 9 is correct, which is 5 or 5 by 1. I'll share the steps on WhatsApp. By uh, maybe Monday, I need to... Like make the word document and then share it with you. So it will take some time. Yeah, and what is 16.16? What's the P by Q form? 44 by 25. 44 by 25. Is it, it this is from this answer is from Ma'am Udan Sri. Udan Sri. Did yes. you check? Did you check Udan Sri? Yes, ma'am. I have checked. Try now. What is 44 by 25? You said, right? Is this what you said? Yes, ma'am. Divide. 
They might use the calculator and check what 44 by 25 is. Okay, yes. one minute. What is 25? Ones are 25. 25 twos are is 50. Now this 45 by 25 is not even two. 44 by 25 is not even two. See, 50 by 25 is only two. It's 44 by 25. It's not even two. You must get 16.16. How can it be 44 by 25? Please understand. 44 by 25. It's just more than when you put this as a mixed fraction. When you put this as a mixed fraction, it is one and 25, 35, 45. So 19 by 25. 119 by 25. But it should be 16.16. So straight away your answer is incorrect. Yes, others, Raja, what's the answer? Be quick. Ma'am. What is the answer, Raja? I'm a Salman 99 complete that. <laughs> I'm screaming at the top of my voice and you are very gently, uh, you know, replying that I didn't complete the homework. Okay, who's completed the homework? Krishmika, what's the answer? Ma'am, I didn't complete the homework, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Arjun? Ma'am, I didn't complete. Sanjay and Sindhu? Uh, 404 by 25, ma'am. 404 by 25, ma'am. No, I can hear you, but not clear, children. One of you answer? 404 by 25, ma'am. 404 by 25. Yes, ma'am. Very good. 404 by 25. Lovely. 404 by 25. How can we go wrong in this? And you didn't have time to complete the homework, children? Very good. Sanjay and Sindhu? Um, I wrote correctly, but I thought it was wrong. Okay. 404 by 25. And what about 16.16 recurring? What's the answer for this one? 1,600 by 99. 1,600 by 99. 1,600 by 99. Yes, correct. 1,600 by 99. 1,600 by 99. All right, children. No, see, uh, I don't, I don't think you need advice on this, no? Why we haven't finished the homework? Tell me, Raja, don't, don't put yourself in this position next time, all right, or in future. Mm -hmm. I don't want excuses from anybody. Yes, ma'am. Devadarshini, what about your homework status? I'm completed. You've completed, is it? Yes, ma'am. Krishmi, Shri Krishmi, are you there? Children must be quick in responding. See, when I call out your names and you don't respond, then I will not keep repeating your name in future. I'll just leave it because when I don't get any response, what am I to do? All right, children, moving ahead. So I, I believe that you have no doubts with respect to, uh, you know, writing uh, a terminating decimal in the P by Q form and a non-terminating repeating decimal in the P by Q form. So when I use this language, you must get comfortable with it. See here, this is a terminating decimal. 
so you know how to write a terminating decimal this is a terminating decimal so you know how to write a terminating decimal in the p by q form and you also know how to write a non terminating repeating decimal a non terminating repeating decimal in the p by q form correct all yes. still moving ahead so sometimes questions will be like this take down this question the question the, there are two questions right on top children this is homework i'll just tell you how to do it see here express 2.36 recurring plus 0.23 recurring as a fraction in the simplest form what you have to do is you need you need to are we all listening yes yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma whether yes, ma your screen is shared ma'am ma Who's that? I'm Deva Dashini, ma'am. Is it visible for the others? My screen? Yes, ma'am. 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 Yes,
you cannot get any question beyond what we have learned in this class. So maintaining your tuition notebook neatly, attending the classes regularly, completing your homework is very, very crucial. You don't have to do any reference. You don't have to refer any any other reference book. Simply maintain your notebook, your tuition notebook neatly. Completely. And use only this for reference. Everything regarding number systems will be done in the class. I, as I told you, nothing beyond this can be asked in your school tests or exams. <clears throat> and when you know when uh, somebody's are told on you know uh, how you're expected to behave in a classroom it's applicable to the class now just now arjun jumped on the bed so children if you're moving away from your desk turn off your video finish your work and when you get back and when you're sitting in the right position if you're sitting in front of a table and on a chair put your legs down or if your legs are folded i can't make out whatever but sit, take a good posture you may be sitting on the ground with your legs crossed and your gadget on the ground or you may be sitting on the um, uh, you may have your laptop on the table and sitting on a chair please assume you can see many of us here raja c netra krishmika danya devadarshini so your posture matters so you know we are not distracting anybody So when we have our videos on, uh, you know, you're all grown up, you know, you don't, nobody wants to be advised. You know, we make faces, you know, all oh, this lady. Why is she doing something other than maths in the class? So please take a good poster. You should know all this. Don't give me a chance to advise you. Even I don't want to advise children. So if you your behavior is perfect, you know, uh, I'll be happy so that, you know, I don't get a chance to uh, talk about all this. You may have to move away from your desk, turn off your video. Then when you get back and you assume the correct posture, turn on your video again. Yeah, thank you, children. Let's get back. <clears throat> yes, these divisions. So this will be weekend assignment for you. Express the following. Look at the heading. Express the following rational numbers as decimals. As decimals. You must do this division. You will realize so much when you do this division. All of you must do this division. The regular division this is. This is the usual division. Wait, let me show you one. So now see the heading. Express the following rational numbers as decimals. So. How do we do the first one? It's like this. Mom, can you once again show the homework questions, Mom? Yes. Yeah. Mom, I really don't know why my screen is not moving, Mom. It's oh. always... Sorry about it, but uh, it's like some network issue because the oh, others are able to see my screen, Mom. Right, it's not changing, Mom. Still, it's in the the previous slide which you are doing. Okay, Mom. No issues. I'll make use of the recording. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, children. Now, can you see my new screen now? Yeah, Mom. Okay. What do you yes, see? Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. All right, children. So twenty-two by thirteen. All right. So this is the regular division. Twenty-two by thirteen. This is a regular division. Go back to, you know, fifth standard. Go back to fifth standard. How do you do it? 20, 13 ones are 13. What is the remainder? 7, 8, 9 is the remainder. Then uh, keep a point. Correct. Add a 0. 13, uh, 6 are 78. 12 is the remainder. Add a 0. Uh, 13, 9 are 117. 3 is the remainder. Add a 0. 13, 2 is a uh, 26, 4 is a remainder. So you need to go on like this. 
you need to go on like this. Now your question is this division will not come to an end. So you will go on and on. So when do you stop? When you see a digit or a set of digits repeating in the quotient, you will see the remainders repeating. You will see the remainders repeating. Ma'am, but what if the number is non-terminating, non-repeating decimal? That does not have a P by Q form. Yes, ma'am. P by Q oh, you have to. Okay, ma'am. I get it. Yeah, from a P by Q form, we cannot get a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. From a P by Q form, we can either get a terminating decimal or a non-terminating repeating decimal. So when to stop the division? When you realize that you know a digit or a set of digits start repeating. Now for this, you know, it will be 692, uh, you will get 307 and again you will get 692. So when you see this, you can stop. See here, 692, 307. Again, you will get 6. So you should become alert. Oh, I already got a 6 in the quotient. Then you will get 9 again. Oh yeah, 692 you will get. Oh, 692. So then it will be 307 again. 692, 307. You can stop here. So when you get... When it is six nine two three zero seven, you cannot stop because not, you cannot find any pattern. When you get six again, you can be a little happy. Okay, six is repeating. Then when you see nine, you can be very happy because six nine, then you will get two. So maybe at this point you can stop. You should confirm. So when when the six happens again, you just do one more step. You will see that nine happens again. Then you can stop the division. You can stop the division. So you, you should continue the division till you realize that a digit or a set of digits are repeating in the quotient. The remainders also will repeat. You do this, it's very beautiful. You just do the division. Then if I talk about it in the next class, you know, you when you understand, it's, uh, it's meaning you can enjoy it better. You do the division. So I've just told the division will not come to an end. Then when to stop the division, I'm telling you. When to stop the division in the quotient, when you see that uh, a digit or a set of digits are repeating. So here in this case, you will get six, you will get nine. So six, nine, we already got, you'll get two. Oh, six, nine, two. Then it will be three, zero, seven confirmed. It will be three, zero, seven. You don't have to try that. The remainders will start repeating and the quotient in the quotient also, you will see a digit or a set of digits repeating. So you can start the division there and you should say 22 by 13 is equal to 1.692307 recurring. Like this. So all these questions are the regular, uh, you know, the, the fifth standard division. So, so minus 22 by 13, 22 by 13 is this one. So minus 22 by 13 is equal to minus 1.692307 recurring. Class, do we understand? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma Very good. Yes, ma'am. All right, children. So it's nice now going back to fifth and sixth standard where the portions were very easy. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yes, ma'am. We didn't have to study at all. We just wrote the test like that and got good marks. <laughs> okay, children. So now this one alone. So so this one alone, you know, 437. I would like you to do it like this. I'm doing the second one. In the first one, the first one is a uh, the first one is an improper fraction. The first one is an improper. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. There I have nothing to say. Okay, when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. I have nothing to say. So when it's a proper fraction, I have something to say. So these are the only th th two things possible. The fraction will, the P by Q will either be a proper fraction or an improper fraction. That is the numerator is small or the numerator is big. Then, then the denominator with respect to the denominator. In the first question, I have nothing to say. It's a regular division. In the second one, where the numerator is smaller than the denominator, I just have something to say there. Look at this. Please do the division like this. OK. 999. One second, children, just a second.
Yeah, sorry, children. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah, I was telling you uh, in this kind of a division where the the, uh, the dividend is smaller than the divisor. So 999, ones are as 999. 999, ones are as 999. Oh, I can't even do ones. So 999, zero times. 999, zero times is zero. And 437 is a remainder. Do it like this. Only then, see, I have something to explain. Only when you all finish the division, I can talk about it in the next class. I want to say something about it, but I'm not saying now. I want you all to do the division, then we can understand. When you perform the division, then what I talk will make more sense. So we'll see that in the next class. I want you to divide like this. See, the first one is 22 by 13. So 13 ones are 13. This is the regular division. 13 ones are 13, and you know you continue like that. This one, you know, 999 ones are is 999. So 999 zeros are zero. And 437 is the remainder. Now keep a point, add a zero. Do you understand what I'm doing, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, class, use emoji, raise your hand. Raja, Sindhuan, Sanjay, Madhumita, Krishmika, Shri, Netra, Devadashini, Udhan, Shri, Daniya, Dinesh, Arjun, Jayant, and Krishmi. Krishmi, you're there, but you didn't respond when I called you Krishmi. All actually. Very nice. Okay. So children, what I'm saying is in the second one, in the second one, when you're dividing 437 by 999, one zero is 999. So 999 to zero is zero and 437. That means you should start the division there itself. Now 437 is the remainder. There's nothing to come down. There's no digit to come down. So what you should do, you should keep a point and add a zero. Then I think uh, 999, how many times? Some three or four times, 999 to four, let's try. Four times 3,992, ma'am. Four, four times is 3,992, ma'am. How? Four nines are 36, you'll get, no? How you're saying two? I think six. Sorry, ma'am, six, ma'am. Okay. And the subtraction? Three seventy four. Next, what should we do, children? After this, zero. 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 All of us know that, right? After once the remainder, every stage you can add one free zero. One zero is free. If you want one more zero, what should you do? If you want add one, the quotient, ma'am. Yeah, you can add a zero on the quotient and then add an extra zero. Only one free zero in every step. If you want another zero, if you want another zero, you must add a zero here and then an extra zero here. But now here when you're dividing, here when you're dividing, don't do that. Here when you're dividing, don't do that. See, like, it's so difficult to say. Uh, I hope you understand. Now, like, every stage you should divide children. You should not add two zeros. So if it is not divisible, say zeros are zero and get the remainder. Don't add extra zero in the step. You should divide every step. You must divide. How to divide? If even if you can't do it once, then add a zero. Then do zero times. Like 999 into 0 is 0 and get the remainder and then add one 0. May, okay, let me put it like this. Every stage you can take only one 0 and you should divide. If it's not possible into 1, then it will be into 0. I'm somewhat clear. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. 
Yeah, don't take another. Don't add a zero yes, here. Don't take an extra zero here. That division is correct. That division is correct, but don't do it here. Don't do that. If 999 into 1 is not possible, then write 999 into 0 is 0 and get the remainder. Add a 0 in the next stage and continue like that. Okay, children, this is what you're expected to do. Please do this. We'll see the answers in the next class. See, if you work, see, tomorrow Sunday, maybe you will need about an hour's time to do all this. But if you do it, if you do it, you will understand, you know, rational numbers better. All right. Write down these questions in your notebook. So express the following rational numbers as decimals. Um, next to four is homework, Raman. Yes, Udan Shri. Ma'am, these are homework questions, no ma'am. Correct, correct. All, all, all okay. homework questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So now from one minute now. One minute. What? Only a slide? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Thank you. Ma yes, children. So it's now time to check. It's time for me to check if you have really understood rationals and irrationals correctly. Okay. Uh, Krishmika, the heading is classified as rational or irrational. First one, is it rational or irrational? Krishmika. Rational, ma'am. Reason? Ma'am, it's a terminating decimal expansion. It is a terminating decimal. The number has a terminating decimal expansion. And hence, it's a rational number. Does it have a P by Q form or terminating decimal? Does it have a P by Q form? Yes, ma'am. Yes, that's why it's a rational number. Very good. So, Krishmika is right. The first one, the first number is a terminating decimal. It's a terminating decimal and hence a rational number. Yes, Deva Darshini, second one. Ma'am, it's a non terminating recurring. It's a non-terminating repeating decimal. Correct. It's a non-terminating repeating decimal, but the heading is identify as rational or irrational. Mom, it's uh, irrational. Irrational. Netra, what do you think about B? Non yes. Yes, who's that? Ma'am, Sanjay. Ma yes, Sanjay. Ma'am, it's a rational number. Ma Why? Because? Because, because it's uh, non terminating but recurring decimal expansion. So non terminating repeating decimal. So it's a non terminating repeating decimal, which means it is a rational number. So there are actually non terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers because they have a P by Q form. Okay. See here. He just did, no? See here. These are. Yeah, here. These are. What is this? It's a non terminating repeating decimal. Yes, ma'am. It's a non terminating repeating decimal. We found its P by Q form. Non terminating repeating decimal. We found its P by Q form. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so non terminating repeating decimals are rational numbers. Okay. Okay. Third one, Udan Shri C. Ma'am, that is terminating decimal. C is a terminating decimal, is it? 
Yes, ma'am. Can I try? Madhumita. Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, can I? Who's that? Yes. Who's that? Ma'am, can I? Ma'am, Jayant. Ma'am, ah, Jayant. Yes, Jayant. Yes, Jayant. Ma'am, non-terminating decision. No, but you should be specific. Non-terminating, repeating or repeating. non -terminating? No, Jayant, Jayant. Repeat. Non-terminating. Non yes, ma'am. Okay, then it is rational or irrational? Ma'am, it's irrational, ma'am. Non-terminating, repeating decimal is irrational, no? Okay. Can I try Nitra? Yes. Ma'am, it's a rational number. Non terminating repeating decimal. One. It's a non terminating rational repeating decimal, which is a rational number. Yeah. Giant. Non terminating repeating decimal. Okay. It's a rational number. It has a P by Q form. Okay. Madhumita D. Try D. Ma'am, uh, it is a terminating decimal, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible? I, you are audible, but I'm a little shocked. That's all. Ma'am, it's uh, 81, ma'am. Oh, no. Which one are you talking about? I'm talking about D. I'm talking ma about C and E. Ma'am, that is uh, non terminating repeating decimal, ma'am. Non terminating repeating decimal. So, does it have a P by Q form? Yes, ma'am. So, is it a rational number? Yes, ma'am. It is a rational number. Very good. Who wants to try E? What's the value of cube root of 729? Nine, nine, nine. Cube root of 729 is 9. And what is 9? Nine? 9 by 1. Is it P by Q? Yes. So it's, a, it's a rational number. It's a rational number. Cube root of 729 is 9. And 9 is 9 by 1. P by Q form. So it's a rational number. This is what you have to write. Now don't ask me how should we complete the, the answers. You must say it's a terminating decimal, so it's a rational number. It's a non-terminating repeating decimal, so it's a rational number. Now for cube root of 729, you must say it is 9 and 9 is 9 by 1. It has a P by Q form, so it's a rational number. F. What is the answer for F? Ma'am, 2 by 3, ma'am. Ma'am, 2 by 3, ma'am. 2 by 3. 5th root of 32 divided by cube root of 7, 27. 5th root of 25 is 2. Because 5th root of 32 is 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32. Divided by cube root of 3 into 3 into 3. So from 5, 2's 1, 2 will come out. From 3, 3's 1, 3 will come out because cube root of 3. So from 3, 3's 1, 3 comes out. Fifth root, fifth root of 32. So from 5, 2's 1, 2 will come out. So the value of this one, the value of this one is 2 by 3. It's 2 by 3. And 2 by 3 have the P by Q form and hence it's a rational number. So the given expression is a rational number. This one is a rational number. Because it has a P by Q form, 2 by 3. These are the steps, children. These are the steps, that's all. You must simplify like this. You must simplify like this. And then 2 by 3, P by 2, so it's a rational number. What about G? Ma'am, it's an irrational number, ma'am. Irrational, ma'am. Not terminating and non recurring. Non terminating, non recurring decimal, ma'am. Yeah, it's a non terminating, non repeating decimal, so it's a rational. So G, it is a, it is a non terminating, non repeating decimal. Hence, irrational. Hence, it is. Huh? Is that 
irrational number. Done writing, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Completed, ma'am. Very good. Clearing the slide? Completed, ma'am. Yeah. Completed, ma'am. Yeah, children. Now, the fourth root of 1000? 10, ma'am. Which is 10 by 1 and 3 by 3. Rational number, ma'am. Rational number. Excuse me. What is the fourth root of 1000? Um, it's uh, 10, ma'am. Really? Okay, so 10 multiplied with it's four times is 1000. Ma'am, it is 10,000. So 10 multiplied with itself four times is 1000, huh? Cube no. root of 10. Cube root. Cube root of 1000 is 10. Fourth root of thousand, some number multiplied by itself four times should give you a thousand. Fourth root of thousand, cube root of thousand is ten, correct? Ten into ten, hundred, hundred into ten is thousand. There is no number, there is no natural number which, when multiplied by itself four times, can produce thousand. There is no number. 10 into 10 into 10 is 1000. That means the cube root of 1000 is 10. But we have fourth root of 1000. Some number, some number multiplied by itself four times. Four times should give you 1000. Think of a number like that. Four times you should multiply that number with itself and you should get 1000. No, there is no such number. Hence, fourth root of thousand. I'll tell you. So, see if you think how to, you know, guess all this. You should find the prime factors. So you will get two into two into two into five into five into five. You should do that. So now see what's happening. Three twos only we have. You should have four twos. Then you can bring one out. We have only three fives. You must have four fives. Then you can bring one five out. So this one is the same thing. It's the same thing, fourth root of thousand. You cannot simplify this. See, fourth root means from four twos, you can bring one two out. And from four fives, you can bring one five out. But we have only three twos and three fives. So nothing can come out. They'll remain under the fourth root. So fourth root of thousand, fourth root of thousand is an irrational number. Is an is an irrational number because its the value will be non-terminating, non-repeating. Class, am I clear to everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma All right. Yeah, what about the next one? Fourth root of 81. What's the value of fourth root of 81? Three ma'am. Three ma'am. three. How to present? So it will be the fourth root of three into three into three into three. So from fourth, three threes are three threes are nine, twenty-seven, eighty-one. So from four threes. 1, 3 will come out. 4th root, right? So from 4, 3, 1, 3 comes out. So that means the 4th root of 81 is 3. And 3 is 3 by 1, P by Q. Therefore, 4th root of 81 is a rational number. Is a rational number. Write down. Completed math.
completed ma'am completed ma'am completed ma'am yeah The next one is the fourth root. Of, sorry, the square root of one six eight one. Square root of one six eight one. Forty one. Yeah. So now you can use the long division method also. One six eight one eight standard. Group the digits like this. Four four is a sixteen. Zero next pair comes down, double the quotient eight. So one one eighty one zero. You can use the uh, you know the long division method. Eight standard squares and square roots. Because in prime factorization it will be difficult to uh, work because uh, it's directly forty one, forty one forty one times forty one once. Because this one is a the, the forty one is a prime number. This is not a prime number. This is not a prime number. Forty one is a prime number. See one six eight one. You know you cannot divide by two. You cannot divide by three. You cannot divide by five, seven, eleven. Nothing. So you will give up at a point. You will give up. Forty one, forty one times forty one once. So the square root of one six eight one is forty one. You can also guess it, children. You can also guess. Guess meaning. Ah, one six eight one. It lies between what forty into forty is thousand uh, six hundred fifty. See, you must listen to all this with interest. Simply, if you are just, if you think I'm making some noise and you're listening to the noise, nothing you will understand. Your focus is very important. Throughout the session, I'm talking only maths. We don't chit chat, gossip, anything other than maths. Your focus, your concentration is highly important. To understand each and everything that's delivered in this classroom. Yes, so don't let your mind wander. Fourteen to forty is thousand six hundred. Fifteen to fifty is two thousand five hundred. Now this number one six eight one lies between these two. Forty square is thousand six hundred. Fifty square is two thousand five hundred. Now it ends with one, so it should be somewhere. It should this the square root of this number should be between forty and fifty. So either it should be forty one into forty one because only then it'll end with one. One ones are one, or it should be forty nine into forty nine. Only then you will get nine nines are eighty one. One in the end, it can't be forty two because two twos are four, two twos are four, and also because if it is forty two, then it should be divisible by two. It cannot be forty-three into forty-three because three threes are nine. You will get in the end. You should get one in the end. So then it should be only forty-one into forty-one or forty-nine into forty-nine. You try for, and it cannot be forty-nine because if it was forty-nine, then you should be able to divide this by seven. If it's forty-nine into forty-nine, then seven. You should have been able to divide this one by seven. So going with all this, it should be forty-one. So the square root of one six eight one, it lies between forty square, which is thousand six hundred, and fifty square, which is two thousand five hundred. Between is one six eight one, and since it ends with one, it can be forty one square or forty nine square. Supposing forty, it's not forty one square, it's not forty nine square. That means it's not a perfect square. That means it's not a perfect square. Now supposing you say, what if it is not forty one square, it is not forty nine square? Then what? Then it's not a perfect square. Then it's not a perfect square. In that case, it's a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal, which is an irrational number. Okay, so now this one is forty-one. And forty-one is p by q, meaning forty-one by one. It's a rational number. Next one, k. 
pi. The value of pi is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. The value of pi. I'll have to clear the screen. Zero by seven. I'll have to clear the screen. So pi is the ratio of the circumference uh, to the diameter of a circle. That's a constant. The ratio of the circumference to the diameter is called pi. And in every circle, whether small or big, this ratio is a constant. The ratio of the circumference of a circle to its diameter. Circumference of a circle, diameter. This is the circumference of the circle. This is the diameter of the circle. This ratio is a constant, which is called pi. And the value of pi, the value of pi, mathematicians have found the value of pi up to so many millions of decimal places. And that is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. Pi. Pi is the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle. Pi. The value of pi. The value of pi is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. Therefore, pi is an irrational number. Irrational number. Yeah, write down this. But when we calculate in mathematics, we have to take some value. You cannot take a non-terminating, non-repeating value and calculate the area of a circle. Now, area of a circle is pi r square. Area of a circle is pi r square. You have to take some, you'll have to take some value, right? Some closest value. You cannot take a non-terminating, non-repeating value and calculate. So it's approximated to 22 by 7. In L, 22 by 7. Now we have heard pi is equal to 22 by 7. Pi is not exactly 22 by 7. It's approximately 22 by 7. Which is used for calculation purposes. Pi is 20. So pi, the value of pi is a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. It's an irrational number. But 22 by 7 has a p by q form. See pi, the value of pi is not exactly 22 by 7. Just for it's approximately it's somewhere near 22 by 7. And so for calculation purposes, wherever we have to use pi, we take the values 22 by 7. It's not exactly equal to this. 22 by 7 has a p by q form. So it's a rational number. Pi is irrational. 22 by 7 has a p by q form. Did we get that, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma okay, children. Please complete this. Completed, ma'am. Completed. Completed, ma'am. Completed. Completed. Did you take screenshots or uh, writing in your book? Writing, writing, yeah. Children, mm -hmm. classwork must always be written down during the session. For homework, I ask you to take screenshot of the questions, or if you can write it quickly, you can write it quickly in your notebook. Okay, next slide. Yeah, this is homework, children. Classify as rational or irrational. Take a screenshot. No, yes, take a screenshot. Yeah. Try. This one, children, it's very close, so maybe you won't understand. One minute. This one is not 214. Uh, it's seven root like this. This is the 14th one.
OK. Yes, next one. All of you, I think uh, this you will not have time to write all the questions, so you have to take a screenshot. Make a note of the homework. Classify as somewhere. See some you should uh, you know something should remind you that the homework is in your uh, you know laptop or whatever uh, device you're using. So don't say I forgot because I took a screenshot. I forgot to do the homework. Don't say that. Yes. So now this is different. Listen carefully. Given 1 by 13 is equal to. So we are given the value of 1 by 13. 1 by 13 is 0 0.076923 recurring. Is given to you. Is given to you. So given this is the value of 1 by 13. Find the decimal expansions of 2 by 13, 3 by 13, 4 by 13, so on up to 12 by 13 without actually performing the long division. So they don't want you to divide like this 2 by 13, then next 3 by 13, next 4 by 13. They don't want you to divide like this. They don't want you to divide. Using this, using this one, they want you to compute the value of 2 by 13, 3 by 13 and so on without performing the long division. See, they have done the long division for you. For 1 by 13, they have performed the long division and they have given its value 0 0.076923, uh, 076923 going on forever. The value of 1 by 13, they have performed the long division and they have given you the value. Now, you don't do the long division. See, without performing the long division, using this value, you should find 2 by 13, 3 by 13 and so on. OK, so the answer, you should complete this answer. So you must say given, given 1 by 13 is equal to 0 0.076923. Decree. I'll just do 2 for you, 2 or 3 for you. You should complete the remaining. So now 2 by 13. Let me do 2 by 13 for you. 2 by 13 is equal to. 2 into 1 by 13. Is that correct? Is 2 by 13 yes, 2 into 1 by 13? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is. Yes. Yeah. 2 into. What's the value? 2 into. What's the value of 1 by 13? 0 0.076923. Correct. Okay. Now multiply children. See here. Multiply carefully. How do you multiply from behind? 2 3s are. 2 3s are. Six. 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 Four. 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 Zero and one carry one, one, one. 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 Then places decimal point as it is. Then two into zero. Zero. Zero, man. Zero. Recurring. Don't forget this. So when you divide two by thirteen, this is what you will get. Zero point one five three eight four six. One five three eight four six going on forever. Ma'am, so for till 2 by 13, we need to use that uh, 0, uh, 0 0.076, that one, Liam. Ma'am. No, you try one more. I don't understand your question. Let's try. Let's try, uh, say, 7 by 13. Tell me, uh, Devadashini, how do you write now 7 by 13? 7 into 1 by 13. 7 into 1 by 13. Okay, now what's the next step? 7 into? 7 into 0. 07693 decree is equal to now multiply 7 into 3 3 yeah what's answer 21 1 1 2 carry over 7 into 2 14 14 6 6 1 carry over yes 7 into 9 Seven nines are sixty-three plus one sixty-four. Four six carry over. Who wants to continue? 
Ma'am, sorry, ma'am. Due to network issues, I went out. I'll continue, ma'am. Yeah. Seven and two six forty two, ma'am. Seven six are forty two. Ah. Plus six. Ma'am, what, ma'am? Ma'am, forty eight, ma'am. Eight and forty eight. Eight four carry over. Yes. Seven seven sir. Forty nine. Forty nine ma'am. Plus four fifty three three five carry over. Seven zeros are zero. Plus zero so five ma'am. Ah. Point point zero ma'am. Then seven into zero is zero ma'am so zero. Yeah seven into zero we are multiplying we are not writing it as it is seven into zero zero. And put a bar on top of all these digits. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Class, is it understood? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma yeah. Children, this one. See. Okay, you copy it. I'll tell you. You should not present it like this, children. One minute. Don't write it like this in your notebook. One minute. Let me write it neatly for you. Given, this is how you should present. Don't put all those, uh, you know, arcs. So now, when you're writing, say like now seven by we found what two by thirteen we found. Not doing that. Then we found seven by thirteen. Okay, you must write seven into one by thirteen, which is equal to seven into zero point zero seven six nine two three recurring. Now do the multiplication in the rough work. Write the final answer here. Don't do all this. Don't do all this. Don't do all this and write numbers here and all. All that should be done in the rough column. All that should be done in the rough column. So here in the main, in the main work, what you must show? Seven into zero point zero seven six nine two three. Recurring and do the calculation in the rough column and write the final answer here. The final answer zero point five three eight four six one one. Recurring. See, like this it should be that multiplying do it in the rough column. So first seven by thirteen is seven into one by thirteen. Then seven into the value of one by thirteen you must write, which is given. Then you should multiply and give the answer. Don't forget to put the bar. Now we'll do one more. Eleven by thirteen we'll do, or we'll do twelve by thirteen. I'm clearing the screen. Yeah. So twelve by thirteen is equal to twelve into one by thirteen. So that is equal to twelve into zero point zero seven six nine two three. Recurring. Now I'll do the calculation here itself, children. Yes, tell me what is twelve threes? Are children will do this together? Twelve threes are thirty six. Twelve threes are one second. Yeah, twelve threes are thirty six. Six three carry over. Twelve twos are twenty four plus three twenty seven. Two carry, carry over. over. Twelve nines are one hundred and eight. One hundred eight plus two one ten. One ten. One ten. So zero eleven carry over. Twelve six are. Seventy-two, ma'am. Seventy-two plus eleven. Eighty-three, ma'am. Eighty-three, three, eight carry over. Twelve sevens are eighty-four. Eighty-four plus eight. Eighty-four plus eight. Ninety-two. Ninety-two, ma'am. Ninety-two, two, nine carry over. Twelve zeros are zero and nine. Zero. Zero. So nine plus nine is nine. Decimal point. Twelve zeros are zero. Zero. And the bar. Bar. 
Yeah. So this is what you will get even if you perform the long division. So when we got 110 children, you must write zero and carry over 11. When we got three digits, when we got three digits, you know, you should not write, you should write only one digit here. I mean, you should carry 110. You must write zero here and carry over 11. See here, 11 carried over. So these little things, you know, small, small things, there's no time to revise. Your syllabus is so vast. There's no time to revise little things. So these little things, when you do it now, you must, you know, like tell yourself two, three times and register this. Even if you don't revise this for your exam, you should be able to do it correctly. There are many more things to revise. So these small concepts, you know, see this is just multiplication. Don't we know that 12 by 13 is 12 into 1 by 13? Is it is this of 9 standard? No, 12 by 13 can be written as 12 into 1 by 13. And 12 into 1 by 13 is value we have written. And then we multiply it and we wrote the answer. This is if you have to revise for the exam. Then it's going to be difficult for you. So these little things, there are so many little things like this in this chapter, number systems. So simple things, when you do it now in the class, then homework, you should register it. Even if you don't revise this, you should be able to do it correctly and get full marks on the exam. Okay, children, I have done only three. The rest of it you should find. I did 2 by 13, 7 by 13, and 12 by 13. You should complete the remaining. Yes. Sorry, children. Yeah. So find three. We finish this one. This is the next one. Find three different irrational numbers between 5 by 7 and 9 by 11. I'll tell you the procedure. I'll tell you the procedure. You should find 5 by 7. Not using your calculator. You should divide and find 5 by 7. Is that fine? See, cameras have all gone, gone off. Netra never turns off a cam video. Sanjay and Sindhu, Devadarshini, Krishmika, and Raja. Thank you, children, for abiding by the rules of the online class. And exactly the same is expected from everyone else in this classroom. Anyways, you can see only my video, my screen. My my when I share my screen, my screen is all all uh, meaning it is spinned automatically, right? Children, when I share my screen, my pin my uh, screen is automatically pinned, right? You yes. can see, uh, yeah, my you can see only my screen. Uh, see only my screen. You don't see your friends in their videos. See only my screen. You will not get distracted. Okay, thanks. Uh, some others now turned on their camera after listening. Thank you so much. Now, yeah, I was telling you how to do this, children. So, children, you should find the value of 5 by 7 by long division. Don't use a calculator. Okay. And then find the value of 9 by 11. Now, I'm writing its value using the calculator. You are not expect. you please do the division. Or I think you had many sums on division, right? You must be tired by now. How many you had there? One, two, three, four. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, fine, fine. So I'll leave it to you. I'll leave this to you. 
if you're tired because you have uh, six or seven questions on division earlier. So this one is 0 0.714285 recurring. Okay, and 9 by 11. This 0 0.81. No. One second. It's 0 0.818 reckoning. Oh no, um, my eyes are not seeing it correctly. Yeah, final. Now, children, so in the exam, see, in the exam, you cannot use a calculator. You have to find the value of 5 by 7 by performing the long division. You have to find the uh, value of 9 by 11 by performing the long division. But the trick is, you know, you don't have to find the full value. But your teacher will expect you to write the full value. Like she'll expect you to write 5 by 7 is this one. I'll tell you everything. Now, actually, if you, when you get 5 by 7 is equal to 0 0.7, that itself is enough. And 9 by 11 is, uh, you know, 0 0.8. That's enough, actually. But your teacher will expect you to write the full uh, decimal expansion. So you get used to that. Now, after this, you have to find, you have to find three different irrational numbers. That means what? You should write three non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. You must write three non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. That's all. Understand the question. Find three different irrational numbers. That means non-terminating, non-repeating decimals between these two values. So, so uh, to insert, you should find their values. What is 5 by 7? What is 9 by 11? Now, let me insert one. 0. Point, see, it is from, it's like, how do we understand 8.1 going on? 8.1, 8.1, 8.1 is going on. I, I'm just writing 8.1 for you to understand. So, it's like this, children. Are we all listening? Yeah. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, children. Just to now, uh, let me. You can you can take you can take the first digit and the first digit. I'll just take the first three digits. You can take how many of digits you want. I'm just taking the first three digits. Seven hundred and fourteen. Here I have eight hundred and eighteen. The first uh, three digits. So now, what can you think of between seven hundred and fourteen and eight hundred and eighteen? Can you think of seven twenty five? See, you should write three numbers between these two. So I'm just taking the first three digits and first three digits. You can take first two digits also. So between, no, first three digits, first three digits. Okay, so 714, 818. 725 is between it, but this is not the end. It should be a non-terminating, non-repeating decimal. So you can just go like the 725, 726, 727 going on like this. Do we understand? Let me write another one. Let me write another one. So zero point. Now uh, I uh, seven hundred and seven hundred nineteen. Seven hundred nineteen is also between that. So I'll just write nineteen. Then I'll write twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and going on like that. Are you getting something, children? You can think of infinitely many numbers like this. No two of us will have the same answer. All of us will have different answers. And as long as your numbers are non-terminating, non-repeating, and between this range, you're right. So now between this 720, so 720, then I can write 200, 2000 like this, then some 2000 and whatever just keep writing something there should be no pattern and you must not forget to put these dots because non-terminating let me take the first two digits 71 81 what is between 71 and 81 72 okay so 0 0.72 73 something just keep writing Going on forever. Am I clear, children? 
Just take the first two digits, first three digits in both, or first four digits in both. Just start off with a number between those two numbers and write something. Write whatever you wish, whatever comes to your mind and your hand, write that and just put the dots going on forever. So it's a non terminating, non repeating decimal. Is it fine, children? Yes, ma'am. All yes, right. Ma All right. So that's it for today's session. Thank you so much. You may leave the call. Ma'am, thank can you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Please, I told you anything other than doubts, uh, Sorry, send a message on WhatsApp. Sorry. Thank you, children. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.